Hi, I'm Mrs. Gayen. I'm one of Minute Man's school psychologists, and I'm also a yoga teacher. In this video, I'm going to talk about yoga and other tools like meditation that help with our mind-body connection and help us to check in with our needs. So to start off, you might just take a seat, let your eyes gently close, and check in with what you need right now. Check in with your mind, check in with your body. Perhaps you need some extra energy and focus, or perhaps you'd like to rest and relax right now. If you're looking for energy and focus, you might look at my other video on the Minuteman page. But if you're looking to rest and relax, this one right here is probably the right one for you. We'll let our eyes flutter open if they're closed. And you might want to gather a few things before we get started. I have a cup of tea and I also have some blankets and a pillow. Any blankets or any pillow will do. You don't need a yoga mat. I have mine here just because I like it. So if you had me talk in one of your classes about yoga or mindfulness, you probably remember me talking about our nervous systems. Our parasympathetic nervous system is the one that helps us rest and digest. So we can do different things to engage our parasympathetic nervous system and help us feel more relaxed and like our mind can slow down. And so we're gonna do a couple of those things today. And slowing down our breath doesn't require any special postures. Just a few minutes of our time and a quiet space. Everything I talk about today is just a suggestion. You get to choose what's right for you, your body, and your mind. We're gonna get started by just finding a place where you feel like you can settle. So you might take a seat like me, or you might lie down on your back with your knees bent. You might lie down in bed just find somewhere where you feel like you can really take a few minutes to slow down. Take a few moments to connect with the parts of your body that are touching something else. So if you're seated, you might feel your sacrum or your legs on the ground. If you're lying down, you might feel your shoulders and low back touching. If your knees are bent, you might feel your feet pressing into the ground. So wherever you are in space, you might let your eyes flutter close now. If your eyes are open, just let your gaze be soft. And begin to tune in with our breath. You might let breath sweep in through your nose and out through your mouth. Noticing places that might hold tension in your body shoulders or hips. Letting breath be so big that it fills up. It feels like you can fill in those places that might feel stuck. You might let your rib cage and belly feel like they can expand with the air. your spine feel expansive. If you're seated, you might let the top of your head grow tall like a flower towards the sun. If you're laying down, finding a similar sense of length through your spine. Wherever you are in space, there might be some place you'd like to stay. There's no rush to move or shift your shape. If you'd like to shift your shape to something different, you can let the eyes slowly blink open. And we're going to move through a couple different restorative yoga poses. We're gonna shift from either seated or where we were lying down and we're going to bring ourselves to hands and knees. You might want to take a blanket to pad your knees. 
I'm going to take a pose called child's pose. This is where the pillow might come in handy. We're going to use it as a bolster. And bring it between your hands here. We'll find a tabletop position. We'll bring our shoulders over our wrists and our hips over our knees. Taking a couple breaths here, letting your spine feel nice and long. We'll let our toes come toward one another and let our knees come wide. We're going to begin shifting our hips back in space and you might want to bring that pillow closer in between the knees. We're going to crawl our arms forward. And you might let your forehead rest here on the pillow. You might just turn to one cheek. Up to you. And letting breath float in and out here. On an in-breath, your fingertips might reach further forward. And on a breath out, your hips might sink further back. You might choose to stay here for a long time. Or that might feel like just enough. And if you would like to shift your shape, we'll press into the hands and let the body shift forward. Let the hands crawl towards your knees. You might take a deep breath in, reach up and out. And as you breathe out, letting your hands come through center. And we'll try one more pose. This one is normally called legs up the wall. But since I live in a small apartment, we're going to have legs up the couch. You're going to bring your bottom as close as you can to a wall or a couch or a chair. And you're going to bring your legs to come rest. You might let your arms be wide here. If you're at a wall, you can let your legs extend all the way straight. But if you're at a couch like me, Letting the calves come to rest. And we'll let the low back and the shoulders feel like they can melt where they are. This is one I like to stay in for a very long time. So you might like to stay here for a long time too. Or you might like to slowly make your way towards standing for our very last posture. One really easy way to engage our parasympathetic nervous system is to let our body fold over. So you might sit on the ground and do that, but a really nice way to do it is standing up. So I'm gonna stand with my feet about hips width apart, take a deep breath in, reach my arms up high. And as I breathe out, bending at my waist, letting my arms dangle. And your fingers might not touch the ground like mine, and that's fine. Really let your neck relax here. And you might let your hands reach for opposite elbows, or they might just dangle. Or you might take your peace fingers, these two fingers, and hook them underneath your toes. Wherever you are, taking a deep breath in, letting it out. Whenever you feel ready, after a breath out, letting your body roll up. And that's a forward fold. Thanks for watching. If you have questions about yoga, meditation, or anything else, feel free to email me.